There are many things that cause a Bacton MSTP network to function slowly and inefficiently. In this series of videos, we're discussing common mistakes people make and ways to solve them. Let's look at problems with terminations, wiring, and communications and find ways to resolve them. Backnet networks need to be terminated at both the beginning and the end. Issues with termination can be caused by a couple of errors. Transmission reflections happen when there is no termination or end of line switch used. There can also be issues when the end of line switch is activated on a device other than those at the end of the network. To fix this, verify that the end of line switches are in the on position only at the devices at the end of the network. Next, let's look at wiring. Devices and network components that are not wired properly do not work properly. Communication wiring must be installed in a daisy chain with one main cable and every network device connected to it in parallel. You should avoid other network topologies since they can cause reflection issues. Here are some of our best practices for wiring an MSTP network. First, be consistent with using one color for the A wires and another for the B wires that carry the differential signal between the devices. Second, keep twisted pair cables together when possible. Twisting insulated conductors around each other cuts down on external interference. Third, avoid exposing bare wire. This will help prevent shorting between adjacent cables connected to the same device. Fourth, avoid cable runs near electrical sources such as power lines and DC signal switches. Lastly, consider securing network cables to reduce vibration. When it comes to communication issues, there are a few different causes and solutions. One problem is when the number of devices on a subnetwork or network segment exceeds the recommended maximum. It is a simple solution. Just limit the number of devices on a single network to the manufacturer's specification. An additional issue is the trunk line exceeds the maximum recommended length. If a network will be greater than 4,000 feet in length, we suggest that you use a repeater to extend the line. Another problem that comes up is when there's inconsistent baud rates among devices on the network. Baud rate is the speed at which data is transferred between devices. MSTP networks can be configured to operate at 9600 baud, 192, 38.4, or 76.8 kbits per second. To avoid this, all devices within one MSTP network segment should communicate at the same baud rate. Those are our recommendations for avoiding slowdowns caused by terminations, wiring, and communication on a backed and MSTP network. For more information about other backed and MSTP network issues, please check out the other videos in this series. And to learn more about any of the solutions from the Building Geniuses at KMC, visit us on the web at kmccontrol.com.